A lunchtime start at Celtic Park, but apparently not too early for the Hoops faithful to hit full voice. The players, they were awake too. Kenny Miller sent in just eight minutes from the start, and he very nearly put Celtic on top. The touch just a bit too much. Mr. Miller would fare better later on. Down at the other end, Rangers make the hosts sweat some. Charlie Adam with the bender, and it almost finds the corner of the net in back of Arthur Borux. The back and forth continues just past mid-half. Celtic threatening through Jan Vanegorp Hasselink, the big man forcing Alan McGregor to make a terrific stop, keeping it tied. McGregor very good in this game. 34 minutes in, the tie broken though. Aiden McGeady denied by McGregor off the header, but Thomas Gravison, watch for him, he can't be stopped. The Dane with his first for Celtic. The home team has the edge. Then, just minutes before the halftime whistle, Celtic on the prowl again. McGeady curling one from a ways out. It's going to skim the wrong side of that crossbar as far as he's concerned. 1-0 Celtic at the interval. Rangers striker Dado Perso playing in Barry Ferguson to get the second half rolling. But Borux out in a hurry, and he breaks up the chance. That's some fine goalkeeping from the Polish international. The stop allowing Celtic to turn this chance into an insurance goal. This in the 73rd, McGeady putting it where Miller can get to it, and he will tap it past McGregor. 2-0 hoops on Miller's first for the club, and I think he's a little geared up about it. Still running, I believe. Rangers keep up the fight, though, and they force the goal line clearance out of the home team. Borux beaten his mates. They bail him out, and here's a better look at how it all got done. Leguan's man with a final chance to get on the board late. Chris Boyd, you're wondering where's he been the whole game? Here he is. 